Hello. Today we're going to take a look at the Logitech G604 wireless mouse. Uh, this mouse has been recently giving me uh, problems with double clicking. I have decided to take matters into my own hands and um, remove the Chinese manufactured Omron switches um, and replace them with the uh, Japanese Omrons. First we're going to go through the disassembly process and then we'll look at the soldering the switches and finally soldering the new, new ones back on. I have sped up a lot of this video, especially the longer parts where there is a lot of screws to take out of the mouse. And I will provide some commentary along the way with the hope that it may help you in case you are thinking of doing this process yourself.
pay attention to these two very small springs. Uh, just uh, be careful taking them out and uh, where you place them. begin the desoldering process. Uh, first I apply some, um, some solder with flux to, to make it easier to remove the switches. And at this point I'm applying the hot iron to all three legs of the switch and pushing slightly down. You will need a lot of patience for them to for the switch to come off but in the end uh, you will be successful. Please make sure not to apply the heat for too long at any one time uh, because you may damage the components. This is the new switch which I'll be installing, the Japanese Omron. Um, you can find a link to a very good video uh, which I used to make the decision of using this switch. Now back to the solder iron. I'm using some solder wick and the solder pump to remove some of the excess material that was left over and make room for the uh, legs on the new switch. the switches are positioned, please make sure that they are as close as possible to the PCB board. Now we begin soldering the new switches. First apply some heat to the peg of the switch and then follow with the solder and flux. I am not an expert at soldering, but this method has worked for me. Now that's it, the new switches are installed and it's time for reassembly. I will not go through the entire reassembly process, but I have sped up the actual video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this and uh, I will see you next time.